Hello, and welcome to another edition of Potluck, your everything and anything talk and entertainment TV show. Today we have a wonderful guest joining us who has brought a new and innovative way of fashion to our area, to DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Um, I, with me, I have Donna Hunley. She is the owner and founder of Curvy Chicks Chariot. And it's become so popular. She just started this back in September. It's become so popular. She's been written up in a number of magazines, including Jet and Ebony. And as well, um, th she's making her third TV debut with us. Mm -hmm. That's yes. right. Well, welcome to the show, Donna. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. I'm so me. excited to, to have you. Yes. And I mean, your idea of putting fashion on wheels is just amazing. So tell us how you started um, Curvy Chicks Chariot. Well, Curvy Chicks Chariot started with a vision, of course. Right. Um, and I wanted to do something for plus-size women because mm -hmm. I was going to an event. I was meeting Michael Jordan. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I was uh -huh. so excited, right? Uh -huh. So I wanted to go to the, find something cute to wear. Not saying he was going to marry me. Right, right. I definitely <laughs> wanted to look cute. Uh -huh. So I went to the mall, looked for um, some things, and I just couldn't find anything. Everything was boxy and black and shapeless. And I was just frustrated. And I said, I can't possibly be the only one with this frustration. Sure. So I turned to my daughter. I said, we're starting a business. i got to figure out how to do this. Started doing some research, though, and the cost for brick and mortar Mm -hmm. Very, very expensive. I just couldn't afford it, but right. I was determined to, you know, have this dream. And so, you know, there's the Marshalls commercial when the woman drives up uh -huh. and she's oh. like, come shopping, and everybody jumps on this bus. Yeah. There's that, but then I heard that Copeland's, mm -hmm. no, 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 Kohan, Kohan Shoes, they were actually um, selling men's shoes outside of clubs at night out of a truck. Really? Yeah. So I started researching that, and I found out that fashion trucks are already being on the West Coast. So mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I'm gonna take this mobile. I felt like it would bring some innovation. I would still get to do my plus size fashion. Sure. And you know, it, I'm glad it caught on. Wow, so how long was the whole like planning process? Um, the idea came about in at, towards the end of um, 2012. Okay. And then in January of 2012, it started off initially as a partnership with my best friend. Mm -hmm. um, in January in 2012, we decided let's just remain friends and not okay. be business partners. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So we um, we separated and dissolved our partnership, but I kept going with Curvy Chicks. Okay. And I bought my truck in March. And you you bought a um, a FedEx truck. Is yeah. that is that right? So Actually, it's an old FedEx truck. Okay. But when I purchased it, it was being used as a vending food. Delivery okay. truck. Okay. So it was full of dirt. Uh huh. It made me think about you know whether or not I want to eat. Sometimes right. it was full of dirt. It was full of change. It was full of everything. So when I gutted it, it had shelving. I mean, uh -huh. it was it wow. was a mess. Wow. Gutted out and found twenty three dollars and change though. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can't I beat did. that. Right? Hello. <laughs> so so how did you like how did you decide to design it or like how is the setup in the in the truck? We'll show a picture on on sure. the screen, but um. well, you know, I had a vision and I mm -hmm. found a contractor who was able to say he said he was going to work with me on that vision. I knew I wanted it to be a boutique. Okay. I wanted people to walk in and really sure. feel like they're in a store. So I wanted to make sure I had electricity, mm -hmm. air condition, I wanted to have plugs. I mean, I really wanted it set up. Right. So I was researching, you know, how they build RVs and some people live out of these step vans and so forth so through my research I came up with a you know a idea of like this is how I want it set up and now that came the design red's my favorite color uh -huh. and I feel like black red and white was a regal you know color palette for me to be able to have for my um, truck oh sure yeah great so how does this work do you just like I'm gonna drive to Bethesda today or I'm mm -hmm. gonna drive to Vienna yeah. <laughs> I mean do you, how do you let people know or like how did how did you get how do you get the word out um, social media. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Social media has become my best friend. I didn't even know how to tweet at first. But <laughs> I, I'm now the tweeting queen. I tweet uh, about everything. Okay. Um, so social media is how I get the word about immediate events or even while I'm participating in events. Okay. But since my um, truck has become very, very known lately, I get a lot of calls okay. from vendors. Um, I do a lot of private parties. Oh, great. You, know, you think about like when they have like jewelry parties or Tupperware yeah, yeah, parties. Yeah. Well, yeah. They have a fashion truck party. Uh huh. And I get 
to pull right up into people's driveway. They have a, a whole bunch of girlfriends over, and then they get to sh shop in the truck by themselves. Wow, it's, it's a lot of fun. Do you, do you allow alcohol? <laughs> I do, but I don't. I don't provide. Right, because right, I no, don't no, have a kidding. liquor and yeah. a food. Yeah, but like last night I had an event, and the happier they get, the more they spend. So I, I, <laughs> I welcome them. Go ahead. Okay. And so when there is a big group or a party, do you do like a discounted? Yeah. Type so the host just gets a, a percentage discount. Okay. Similar to how these other part, Tupperware and so forth parties, the more that their um, guests spend, the mm -hmm. deeper the discount for the hostess. Oh, nice. So she typically encourages them, please spend right. more and more. The more they spend, the deeper her discount, she can't, she can't lose with that. Wow. Or he. Uh -huh. He can't lose with that. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, great. So you do sizes 14 to 24 yes. and sometimes 26. 26. Yes, and okay. sometimes even as low as 10 to 12. You know, I start at 1X in some brands and some mm -hmm. brands start at 14. Okay. 1X, depending on the cut, it can fit a 10 or a 12 as well. Okay. I just want to make sure that it has the shaping and the body for curvy women okay. of the, the plus size um, area. Now, how have, how have your, um, I've seen some of your reviews online and they're pretty awesome. Thank you. And um, so have you had any challenges as far as like fitting some of these women or making them look stunning? Yeah, well, you know, I think the biggest challenge is them. They okay. come in with a, a, a thought that they can't find anything. Mm. So I think the biggest challenge for me is initially helping them understand that we are going to work together to make you feel beautiful. Great, you know, right. I, we, women, we're our own worst enemy. Yeah. And we're very critical of ourselves and our bodies. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I've put on an outfit on a woman. It looked incredible. Everybody who walked in said it just looked incredible. Wow. But she was so down on herself, she didn't want to get it. Aww. You know, so that's that's the, I think the biggest challenge, but that's also why I opened the store, you know. Right, right. I want a lot of women, including myself. I mean, I wasn't always plus size. I had a health situation sure. that made me gain 45 pounds in 6 months. Oh, wow. And when you gain weight that fast especially, it's it's very hard on you, you know. And stressful. Yeah. yeah. And you don't feel pretty, especially you when your clothes don't fit you and you're like uh. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. It took me a while to realize that that, that tin in my closet was not going to fit. Uh, Guess when I got it up to my knees and it didn't want to go anymore. Uh, <laughs> I said, it's time for me to move on. But sure. I knew that I still wanted to feel pretty. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel. A lot, I've seen it a lot of um, women coming into my truck and they just feel defeated when they walk in. Sure. Um, but then I hear the, the stories of when we go to events. Like, for example, we're at a market event, a flea market, and people my size are used to going in and only walking away with jewelry. Oh, wow. We don't typically get to buy clothing because people don't bring the, our sizes to those events. Right. So now I'm there. Ah. And they're so happy to be able to at least walk away with a cute shirt, sure. some pants that actually fit and are stylish. Wow. So do you do like individuals? Like do people say, hey, Donna, can you come over? Mm -hmm. Like I need to, I don't want to go out shopping. Yes. Can you come to my place? Yep. And, okay. I do private shopping events. Okay. Um, the private shopping events, there's a monetary amount that they have a minimum spend. Okay. Okay. Um, and once they make that commitment with the deposit, I'll go there. It's an hour and a half um, session that they'll have the truck uh -huh. completely to themselves. So it's like one big closet and they uh, get to do everything yeah. they want. Do you get to help out with... Do you give them some guidance on how to how to dress or? Oh or, yeah. Or, yeah okay. Well, I like to find out what's their taste. Okay. Um, it's it, it, it's funny because a lot of people say, "Oh, I only wear black. I don't wear colors," and I'm <laughs> like, "Okay, if you put on this black, I'm gonna make make sure you have some." Nice shoes. I work with the shoe vendor. Um, she has a, a shoe truck. Okay. Oh, um, cool. Zoe Shoe Bar. So I work with her, uh -huh. and she'll get the colorful shoes to go with this great outfit. Sure. So I'll work with them. They're going to have a pop of color somewhere. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. definitely. So we are going to watch a fashion show today. Yes. We get to check out all the clothes, and you're going to tell me or tell us about these clothing for these women and how they have come to look spectacular on yeah. them. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So. I got some great models today. Okay. Um, the theme of my fashion show, um, the first set of models that are coming out is color. I okay. love color and I want I want curvy women to embrace color. So okay. our first model is Miss Rain and Miss Rain has on the beautiful spring dress full of colors. Wow. This dress is cut to 
to any curvy woman's liking. It has a lot of ruching, mm -hmm. um, and that ruching is one of the things that helps hide and guide women's uh, stomach to show what you want it to show and not show what you don't. It has a nice cut to it to enhance your chest area, but not give you too much. And then the colors, I mean. Beautiful colors. I, I, you know, I love and it's the not colors. usually, you know, you think, oh, okay, if I wear too many colors, I'm going to look, you know, big, yes. but not at all. It's the very, colors and the patterns, it's all about knowing a designer's cut. Mm -hmm. And as long, and that's what I pride myself in is putting women in. This, this outfit on the hangers is not attractive. And nobody, <laughs> wants, nobody wants to try it on. And I tell them, if you put it on, I'm telling you it's a beautiful outfit. So yeah, Ms. Ray is definitely showing how that, that looks great. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, thank you. And our, and our next model, she has on, the, this is the in style. The jumpers. Oh, the Everybody's one yeah. wearing the one piece jumpers now. So this is Miss Sybil, and she has on, once again, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that beautiful blue. Um, mm. This blue is complemented with some shoes that are just a pop of color. Like I said, even if it's a solid color outfit, we want to wow. add some color to yeah, it. Show off the shoes. Those are beautiful. Yeah, let's see like, those shoes. <laughs> Those are something serious, wow. they're nice and neon. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, once again, it's not something that people would think of. Mm -hmm. Th that, that's nothing that people would think of when they're thinking of putting it together with sure. some blue. But right. And she's yes. got a great necklace there. That's, yes. that's wonderful, very pretty. Yep, and then I like to, I sell accessories in my tr truck as well. Mm -hmm. So I have the earrings that I've provided, but I also, once again, I work with different mm -hmm. vendors. I'm, sure. TNT Unique Designs, they provide us with a lot of the necklaces that you'll see. Okay. Um, so it's just, I mean, partnership with small businesses, that's also something that I like yeah, to do. Yeah, that's good. And, and so, yeah. Yeah, we're, it's we're, great to support locally. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, definitely support the communities. Speaking of small businesses, Miss Monica has on a high-low cut. She's showing off her legs. Yeah, wow, yes, she is. Yeah, <laughs> now, curvy women tend to hide our legs. So yes, we have big thighs, but we're proud of them. Uh huh. You know, and she has on this silky dress, and this is by an indie designer. Indie meaning she's brand new, um, but I found her doing some research, mm -hmm. and I, her her clothing is just beautiful. Now this is a night out, okay. or this is just, or it can be a sexy night in with your man. Right, right. <laughs> um, this Monica has on with the beautiful accessories, the, the gold jewelry and the spiky mm -hmm. look. Um, you can also, you know, put on a simple pearl necklace with it and just bring the white out that's in it. Sure. But sure. either way, it's silky, it's elegant, and it's very, very pretty. And it looks comfortable. Yeah, it is. It's a nice, <laughs> nice against your skin. Sure. Good for the summertime. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Monica. Great. Next we have Miss Samisha. Now, Samisha is wearing the harem pants. Harem pants are the new thing of the uh, the styles. You know, back in the day when I was younger, we used to wear hammer pants. Remember yeah, those? yeah, sure. The, in, yeah. in the 80s, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Now they've moved that middle section into okay. the sides uh -huh. just to give a little flair and a different, different look to some leggings. Sure. Um, she has a pop of color, once again, with that outfit. Mm -hmm. And we put this <clears throat> nice tank top. It has zippers on the sides. For the hippier woman like myself, I have to unzip those sides okay. to make it lay mm -hmm. right. Sure. But you can, um, you can do it with the zippy zips on the side or you can keep them keep it zipped mm -hmm. either way it is definitely a casual outfit you can see yourself running her out on a Saturday with the outfit like that right 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 thank you Samisha so that's wow. the, one of the things that you know I try and make sure that we stay trendy and yeah. relevant oh yeah with definitely our yeah you don't want to stick with just black and black yeah all black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so. the all black is just not okay. something that we want to do oh wow and look at this one yeah so look we have another one to miss rain she is changed she's fast right so we have her coming back out she's got a tiger yes <laughs> and she has on the jogger pants now these jogger pants are like the the a different way to look at those jogging pants that you would wear with a jacket. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they come in denim. They okay. wear them tight. They have the um, the 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 part around the ankles that keeps it nice and you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm losing so my word. Interesting <laughs> design on the bottom. That, that's yes. very, very cool. Yeah, the and then she's coupled them with some casual flats. 
-huh. And when she's out and running an errand, we want to look cute, okay. you know? And we can be at the, the shopping mall, we can be at the grocery store, but she, you know, puts on this oversized tee and those joggers and she's okay. ready to go. And the, and the joggers are comfy? They're like yeah. stretchy? They are. Now like, they, like, they may look, you know, feel tight, but uh -huh. they're not they're not a tight fit when you have them on as far okay. as uncomfortable. Sure. You see she has her hand in her pocket because they like to make room okay. for that outfit. Okay. Great, great. Excellent, thank you, Ray. Thank you. So, um, how are you keeping up with like the fashion trends and stuff? Yeah. Like, you know, I mean like, yeah, there's it, a lot going it, it on, you know, from Paris, regular. you know, to Milan and New yeah. York City and stuff. So. Well, you know, I, a lot of people don't realize that there is actually a full-figured fashion week. Oh, yeah, okay. they have the okay. fashion week that takes place early in the season for, uh -huh. in New York, but they have one specifically for full-figured women. So I stay on top of that. It's okay. actually happening in June. Okay. And because it only happens once a year, they tend to show seasonal, you know, things coming out all within this particular event. Right. So it is a good way for me to know what's coming, what's going to sure. be hot. Mm -hmm. But I also stay very close with bloggers. You know, bloggers stay on top of trends now, and that's really the way to get the word out. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there okay. are a lot of curvy bloggers uh -huh. out there, and I follow or I friend them, and we talk, and right. they tell me about, you know, what's the latest trend, whether sure. it's with purses or clothing or whatever. Sure. Are there any particular, like, blogging sites, like blogger.com? Or is it, is it, are I there... just check all over. Cur Curvy Fashionista, she's okay. a very popular okay. um, blogger that I follow a lot of okay. her information. Um, Daily Venus, uh -huh. she actually does story about us, but they are so popular that a lot of their stuff goes around to all of the different places. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow! Check this out. Yeah. So we got we have another outfit now. This one is one that can be transitioned for the daytime. You uh -huh. can put a jacket sure. on with it, and then you can wear it again at night. Put on that necklace, and wow! That's right. Now this yeah. outfit has a built-in gold belt. Isn't wow. that fantastic? So you don't Great. have to worry about figuring out what the accessories are going to be. It comes with the belt that actually gives you mm -hmm. that shape. Her hourglass shape, and yes, we do have hourglass shapes as curvy <laughs> women. The actual necklace that I put on with it also complements the entire um, gold feel with that. Um, it really does. The outfit, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, and what you know, what we you can do is you can trade trade this in and put a big chunky necklace on with it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. overall, this outfit, when when Miss Sybil put this outfit on, she fell in love with it right away. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look as great on the hanger. That's why I have a dressing room in my truck. Right, because I right. tell people, look at it on the hanger, but try it on. Right. Because that's when you'll really see the benefit so of don't, it. So don't judge a book by its cover. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, that's right. Wow, wow, look at this yes, one. Miss Monica. Look at the colors, beautiful colors. Once again, we have this dress. Um, now this dress is cut, the way that it's cut, it has a design that's crossed, and that actually gives her figure a little bit of a, you know, contrast to make sure. it so that it seems like she's actually smaller than she may be. Right, right, um, oh yeah. It's a lightweight material. Although it's long sleeves, mm -hmm. she can wear this outfit in the spring with the colors, but the black and white also allows you to wear it in the fall. So a lot of my pieces are transitional. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah. this one is Very one nice. that she has. And it has. she had put a nice little silver necklace with it. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also, you know, you can dress it up, dress sure. it down. High heel tennis shoes would look great with that as well. So it's a lot of wow. fun things you can uh -huh. do. Or some springy color shoes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah. So, wow. And that's like our punk rock look. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. And here we go. Yeah, and then we have Miss Samisha again. She's back out. Now this one is a great look for, imagine that you're going to a sporting event mm -hmm. um, and you want to you want to still look stylish, but you don't want to look too overdressed. Right, right. So she has on a, in what we call a bodycon dress. It's a okay. tight fitting body dress. Uh -huh. And it has ruching. The ruching, once again, that's going to complement your curves. It's going to hide your imperfections in right. your stomach area. Ruching is great. Oh, it's a, it's a woman's. <laughs> 
best friend. It really is. I tell you, I love my ruching. She has wow. on a jean vest with it, mm -hmm. and that gives it that casual look now. Mm -hmm. Imagine at the end of the day, she's ready to go out. Yeah, there you go. Take it off. She's ready. Right. You know, Very when pretty. she wants to go to an event in the evening, mm -hmm. she doesn't have to go home and change. She just takes off that jacket, and she's no longer she's as all casual. Set. She's right. ready to go out to the club. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so thank you. Very Nancy, nice. Misha. Very nice. And the jewelry, too. Yes, that jewelry. So, once again, TNT Unique Design. She is uh, fantastic. And she's a local that. designer. Yeah, she is a local She's a local jeweler. And like I said, the Zoe Shoe Bar, she provided these lovely shoes for me oh, as well. Aren't nice. they great? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting down, though. I can't okay. walk in them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoes are a little, they can look great, but they I can know. feel very uncomfortable. I love so. the way shoes look. So yeah, I just I like know. to wear them whenever I'm sitting yeah, down. Yeah, these are yeah. my two-minute shoes. So what happens when you, okay, so you've gone through like the first year mm -hmm. and the fashions are now getting old, you put them on sale? Yes. And, and then... Yeah, right now we have a fantastic 50% off. Oh, I'm selling, wow. I'm selling a lot of my winter stuff. I'm trying uh -huh. to get it off because managing the inventory in a small place like a truck sure. is critical. Right, you know? right. If I, if I have too much of anything, not only am I sitting on money, but then I have a crowded truck. Yeah. And part of the 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 best part about the truck is the presence. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. When people walk in, I like them to feel it all. They have the tiled ceilings. I have the black hardwood floors. Oh, nice. And then I have the colorful clothing that's not you know so much in there that you feel like you're like in a tight closet that needs to be right right so I do transition as the seasons transition mm -hmm. I transition my clothing and put them on sale so you can find great off-season sales with me oh that's awesome and I do weekly promotions okay so I have a mailing list and wherever I go I ask people to sign up for the mailing list and mm -hmm. I send out weekly promotions letting them know what's the sale of the week right I do birthday clubs oh, so every oh, nice. month yeah, yeah when it's your birthday I'll send out a special uh -huh. surprise just for you and that month in the birthday club and you'll get that special I'm really a retail store yeah and and personalized yes and you absolutely. come and you come to everybody yeah so great so uh, driving your truck I mean do you there's so much traffic in this area I yes. mean that's you know you're saving a lot of hassle for people by coming to them, which I wish I had a truck to come to my house I to know. help me get dressed because I can't stand going out to the you know the mall, the mall and dealing with crowds and yeah. stuff. So this is definitely a, a great way to like avoid that. Yeah, during the holiday season. Oh yeah, definitely. it was a really good benefit. A lot of people have shopping parties at their home, and mm -hmm. so I did a lot of home shopping parties for people to be able to pick up that gift for their family member sure. right out of my truck or gift for yourself right, that's usually right. what ends up happening yeah <laughs> um but the traffic the traffic is good for them they don't have to do it now i do you do it. yeah yeah <laughs> i definitely sit yeah. in that traffic now i don't have ac i don't have a radio oh my gosh uh, <laughs> i do have heat okay but, but um so oftentimes i'll sit there and i'm fanning i try and wear whatever till i get to the location because i may look like a total mess when <laughs> I get there. right so um so you had a great idea and you made it come through fruition. So what's next? What's what's in store for you? Like, do you see yourself? Where do you see yourself in the next year? You know, well, do you see any other trucks for yourself? Do you see yourself expanding? Yes. Yes and okay. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to um, expand. I my goal is my five year goal is to be able to have trucks throughout the southeast. Oh wow. Um, and I you know whether that comes from fran franchising or whether it comes from me just personally expanding my business. Uh -huh. My you know I'm open to that option. But my immediate goal I want to be a Shark Tank. A Shark Tank. I want to be on the show Shark Tank so I oh. can get some investors. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's gotcha. my media goal, like you Shark know. Tank, yeah. Shark Tank is a, okay. a group of investors who invest in your business. And so I really want to be able to get, capture the investor's um, ear and eye and, sure. and, and wallet and, uh -huh, yeah. and, and make sure that I can get the funding so that I'll be able to expand my business. I really think I have a good thing going. I think you should do the East Coast, not just the South East. Yes, yeah. You should yeah. do like the whole East Coast. Yeah, New York. <laughs> you know, initially when I was doing my research, I felt like um, it proved that, you know, the plus size women would be more receptive sure. down in the South area. But okay. you're right. New New York, New Jersey, it's, yeah. it's actually, I mean, you know, showing me a lot of love. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. And I, I think you would get a lot of love like everywhere. Yeah. So anyway, yes. yeah. Yes, thank so you. So tell me about your website. 
Um, so you can, on my website, I post where I'm going to be. You okay. can see all every everything that I do. Um, this video will be on my website. Uh -huh. I, um, it's www.curvychicks. And chicks is C-H-I-X. Yes. Curvychickschariot.com. Okay. Um, I post um, pictures of how, you know, the types of clothing I have, mm -hmm. but it's not actually the, you know, I don't the sell actual, online. Okay. So I want people to get an idea, but I also do Instagram, I do Facebook, and I do Twitter, uh -huh. and you can just find me by um, Curvy Chicks Chariot. So what happens if somebody can't, you know, what happens if you can't get to them or they're too far away and they mm -hmm. want to order online? Is that a possibility at all? Or? Yes. And now one of the things that I do often get are requests. If they know their size, they uh -huh. know they love it, they'll ask me for it. I just simply send them an invoice. Okay. Um, and then they'll, they will get give me their address and I'll ship it right out to them. Okay. It's just that I don't do regular e-commerce from sure, my website. Sure. Yeah. And what's your return policy like? So I don't do um, returns. Mm -hmm. I do exchanges only within seven days after sure. they receive, okay. receive their actual merchandise. And you know why? Because I'm traveling so much. Yeah. It's almost impossible for me to simply say, you know, hey, you know, yes, you can get this back. Or So it's, it's pretty much... And that's just on select items. If it's on clearance or in mm -hmm. sale, okay. they can't return it. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining well, thanks us. Thanks for having me. It's Jen, been wonderful. Your website is www.curvychicks.com. Yes. Yes. Chariot, C-H-A-R-I-O-T dot yes. com. Yes, ma'am. Great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And if you're just joining us now, okay, um, you'll be able to catch us on the web next week at www.potluck-online.org. And we thank you, and thank you so much. Thank you. I can't wait to, to find and see more trucks coming I can't wait to visit me. Out. Yeah, and, and hopefully maybe you could get out of the plus size and go to the normal size too. You could do a whole bunch of trucks. Yeah, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, well, thank you so much, thank and we'll you. see you next time. Thank you. All right. Yeah.